This is a demonstration of the Asset Manager for ModX Revolution. So the installation should be standard. You just install the package as per usual. Uh, after it's installed, you should be able to jump right into editing any ModX page. And by default, it's set up to be attached to any page, but you can set it to be attached to any uh, ModX resource class. You'll see an Assets tab, and you can select files using the dropdown select one or more images or you can do a drag and drop uh, you'll notice that it follows the rules set up by your modx system settings so in this example i didn't have rtf files allowed so if i uh, command click this i can look for the upload preference and uh, if i click in here i should be able to just add rtf and that should be saved and then if I come back here I should be able to add that as an asset. You can uh, drag and drop these in any order. Uh, I do encourage uh, saving often because this represents some additional data that may not be in your in your parent page. Uh, you can click on any of these and add a title. You see that this is not an image so it doesn't give you the the preview but an image will in fact give you a larger preview there it tries to fit it in it may not do the perfect job but yeah version one we're doing our best you'll notice that there is the option to manage groups and I'll show you what that is uh, we don't have any groups defined yet but uh, if I control click this I'm gonna add a few groups here Once I've saved that, uh, when I reload my page here, I will have some options in the groups dropdown. And this lets you uh, organize your images on the page because the idea is that you might have uh, regions of the page and your template defined for certain types of assets and a different re uh, region defined for other assets. And this gives you an easy way to filter those. And when that's all working, you get some animations here so you could see what's in each group. Okay, so it's just meant to be a simple organizational tool and uh, you'll see on the overlay here which group each item is in. Uh, again, uh, I encourage you to save this and uh, once you've got that there, the next thing you'll wanna do is display this information. And typically this would happen in your template, but just to do this for the ease of use here I'm going to do it in the actual page and the snippet that you'll be using to display this is called get page assets and the simplest use of this is just no arguments so as I save that and I view it we should see that it is in fact printing the full-blown uh, assets on the page and these are it's printing images you'll notice it's not printing the uh, the documents and okay that's great but you probably don't want the full-sized image all the time uh, you may be used to using a PHP thumb or uh, one of those other uh, image editing plugins or snippets but the asset manager has you covered here it will automatically generate images to the size that you need um, I encourage you to look at the wiki because uh, I try to document stuff and look at the arguments listed for get page assets. Uh, inner TPL and outer TPL are, are the most common ones we'll use. Um, I do try to make this work with um, without having to make a chunk for it, but uh, that doesn't always work in the case of having uh, output filters. So in this case, I've got an output filter. Um, asset ID is the is the unique key in the database and then there's a handy one called scale to width or scale to w for width but we'll need to create this as a uh, separate chunk just because the output filters tend not to work so let me open up another tab just so i can do this i'm going to call this inner tpl and say i want to scale this all these to 400 the width of 400 and I'll save that and I'll modify my call here to reference the chunk by name. Um, one other parameter I'm going to use is, is image. I'll set that to one because I only want it to return images. 
And now when I refresh this, we should see that it's going to calculate all these to the, the width that I wanted. And uh, this caches a new version of the image. So if you're curious what's going on under the hood, if we go into our site's assets folder, the manager creates a new folder called library, L-I-B, and then your uploads get grouped by date. So these are all the originals in here. You'll see that there's all the my originals. And then the resized ones get created in here according to their ID. So you see that I've already created two different uh, sized images for this particular original, etc. This should make managing assets easier and more elegant. Um, have fun with this. If you have questions, refer back to the wiki. Uh, more documentation is coming there as well as some new features in the future. Hope that helps.